welcome here we are learning to use the bond function in built into the ba2 plus calculator and we will solve this problem using ba2 plus and its inbuilt bond function here we are given a bond which was initially issued on this date january 1st 2018 coupon is five percent and is paid semi-annually face value is hundred dollars settlement date is october 6 2021 and this bond matures matures on december 31st 2028 ytm of the bond is four percent and we are supposed to calculate the flat price of the bond accrued interest till settlement date and full price of the bond and we will do that using inbuilt bond function we will go to the calculators bond function uh, second nine so here we are into the bond function but even before we go into the bond function let us uh, go to second and format so when we go into format function first of all we see dec it is a decimal up to two decimal places we go down and then go down so it shows us that our calculator is by default using this state convention of us where we have a month mm date dd and y y y y so when we use us state convention in the calculator the display happens like this that it is mmddyyy date convention so but if you click second and set you see eur so this is the european date convention where we write dd date first and then mm month and then year so this is difference between European date convention and US state convention but we will be in this uh, question using uh, US state convention so we will click second and set again so we are back into European date convention second and quit so through this exercise what we did we actually wanted to make sure that we are in US state convention now we are fine and we will go to second and click nine we are into the bond function now and it says starts with settlement date so settlement date is displayed as mmddyyyy but when we enter this date this date has to be entered as october is 10th month dot and six is the date and then year is 21 so this is the format in which it goes into the system so display date is different display of the date happens differently but when we enter the date into us format we first of all enter two digits for the month here we have the month of october so this is 10 after that there is a dot and then 06 is for the day uh, sixth date and then 21 is for the year and when we uh, click enter 6th of october has been entered into the system 2021 so this is settlement date for the bond then we go down there and it is asking for coupon which means coupon uh, rate which is five percent so we will five and enter five and then go down and it is rdt this is the redemption date so this bond is maturing on december 31st so first we enter this date december 12th month date 31st year 28 and then we enter so now this december 31st 2028 has been entered into the calculator go down so this is the redemption value so this is the par value of the bond so this bond will be redeemed at hundred dollars so this stays as hundred dollars in most of the cases unless and until we are dealing with something like callable bond which may be redeemed at hundred three dollars or something hundred two dollars at premium or something 
but this is a, a regular bond so it will be redeemed at hundred dollars as specified in the question we go down so this is actual act is actual to actual date convention right so when we calculate the number of days from the last interest payment or last coupon payment till settlement date so we can use either of two conventions we know that either we can use actual by actual date convention or we can use 30 by 360 date convention so by default the calculator is using act actual date convention but if in some case and in this question we are using actual date convention but if in some case you have to use 30 by 360 date convention then you will do what you will go to second and you will click set so this is 360 date convention but we are not using that so we will go back second and set so we are back into actual by actual date convention we go back here uh, sorry we press the down arrow here and it shows two by y so it means uh, interest or coupon payments are made semi-annually yes this problem also has semi-annual coupon payments but if at all it is annual coupon payment then what you need to do second and set you can set it to annual one y is one slash y is annual but we are in this question into semi-annual coupon payments so we will switch back to where we came from second set and then i press down arrow so yield is 4%, 4, enter, go down, principal. So this principal is actually the flat price or the clean price of the bond and this is what we want to calculate. So we will hit CPT button and this comes out to be 106.22. So this is the flat price or the clean price of the bond which we calculated using inbuilt bond function. But uh, since we want to compute the full price uh, of the bond as well, so therefore we will store this in first memory slot, right? Nothing would happen on screen, but it has been stored. Then we click down arrow and it shows that accrued interest is 1.33. So accrued interest is 1.33 so accrued interest is 1.33 so we add to that recall one is equal to so this one is actually the actually 107.55 is actually the full price of the bond and although we have not talked about duration yet but the duration of the bond is 6.08 so inbuilt bond function also gives us duration of the bond Thanks for watching.